Today, we're gonna cook the most famous dish, pizza. And if you think that you're gonna need an expensive wood-burning pizza oven or a pizza stone, you're totally wrong. All you're gonna need is a hex-clad cookware pan. First step for making the perfect pizza, we're gonna prep our San Marzano tomato. You're gonna use Mother Nature tools. Hands, le mani. A little bit of salt, and then gently smash those beautiful tomato. And if you have kids at home, just let them do this, because they will make a mess, but they will be so happy. You wanna smash until you have a chunky consistency. This one is the perfect consistency. Once you prep your tomato sauce, you can move this aside and start to build your pizza in a pan. So you wanna add a little bit of olive oil in your pan and just spread it around. You're gonna take your dough, push all the air of your dough to the side. And don't worry if you think there is not enough olive oil. The cool thing about this pan is non-stick, so your pizza is not gonna get stuck on the bottom. Now we're gonna add tomato sauce and we are ready to cook our pizza. We're gonna start on the stove and then finish in the oven. We're gonna start to cook our pizza on the stove on medium low. The reason why we do this is because this pan, heat distribution is so amazing. We're gonna slowly create a crust underneath our pizza. You can see there's already detaching from the bottom of your pan. The crust is absorbing the heat, so it's starting to puff up. And if you see any bubbles, you can push the tomato on top, give it a little pop, so it's gonna calm down. The dough is already starting to absorb all the beautiful heat that the pan is creating and it's starting to bubble, just like a pizza oven. We're gonna move it from the heat source and I'm gonna show you the bottom. Now that our bottom pizza is cooked, we're ready to go in the oven. Our pizza is halfway there, so now it's time for our Parmigiano Reggiano, a little bit of mozzarella cheese and lots of beautiful pepperoni. We're ready to go back in the oven for another two, three minutes so the cheese will melt and the pepperoni will cup. There you go, our pepperoni pizza looks beautiful. The crust is charred and look at the bottom. Come on, that looks like straight from a wood-burning oven pizza. Now we're ready to cut. We're gonna finish it off with a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano, fresh basil leaves, a little bit of olive oil, there you have a pepperoni pizza cooked in your hex-clad cookware pan. Our pizza smells so freaking delicious. You get the taste of the char right away, which is delicious. Tomato sauce that we smashed by hand it gives you the burst of flavor or acid that you need on each pizza that you're eating. Hope you guys enjoy this recipe and hope you're gonna try to make it with your hex-clad cookware pan and have a good time with your families. Ciao, are you?